In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a professional email signature block for Microsoft Outlook. Now you can always create your own email signature in Outlook using either Word or Outlook to type it out and design your own signature, but I found a free resource through Microsoft that I'm gonna share a link with you in the description below this video. You can download it and it gives you 20 different design templates that you can use for your email signature. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take one of those and customize it, add your own hyperlinks and images to those and use them and then create your own custom signature in Microsoft Outlook. All right, so the first thing I wanted to quickly show you is the email signature gallery from Microsoft. All you have to do is download this. And again, I'll include a link in the description below the video. Once you download it, it's a Word document that comes up and it has all of these different email signature options that you can choose from. So these are all pre-designed options. They look very professional, they're professionally designed, and you can choose these and simply customize them, add your own hyperlinks and images to them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, the first one I'm going to look at is this one here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the box up here, and then it, that ensures that I've selected all of the elements in that particular email signature. I'm going to hit Control C to copy, and then I'm going to open up a new document, and I'm going to hit Control V to paste it. Now I can totally customize this. So obviously, all you have to do is type over um, so you can put your name in there. And um, be sure and enter in your information. I would recommend for your email address, when you type in your email address, um, select it, type in your email, and then hit your space bar so that it will add a hyperlink. This document happens to show the field code, so it opens up those brackets where the hyperlink is. That's okay, you don't have to worry about that. It'll show up normally when you paste this into your email signature, so you can leave it just like that. Same thing with the website. You would wanna put your own website here. And then we are gonna put our cursor at the end and hit space so that it will create that as a hyperlink. I've seen a lot of email signatures that have the information like an email address or a website and they're not hyperlinked. And I think that people really do like to be able to just click there. They don't, they're not gonna take the time to copy and paste from your signature. So be sure and make those hyperlinks. Now we have these logos down here, your social media icons. And so we definitely wanna put our personalized URL links in those. I have a separate video that shows you exactly where to go find your LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter URLs and how to link those to various social media icons. So be sure and check out that video. But real quickly, let's do that with this icon here. Um, we can go out to our LinkedIn profile page. You simply um, come out to your profile and then select edit public profile URL. And this opens up a tab where you can grab your URL. Now you can personalize your LinkedIn URL, which is nice. You simply click this edit button and then you can type, I've typed my domain name for my website as my personalized LinkedIn page. So now all I have to do is copy that. I hit control C to copy and I'm gonna come back into my Word document here and I'm gonna select the icon for LinkedIn. I'm going to right click I'm gonna come down here to edit link. So there was already a hyperlink in there that just simply went to linkedin.com. So I'm going to replace that and copy over with my personalized URL down here in the address window and then click okay. So now the hyperlink will take users, if they click on that icon, it'll take them directly to my personalized uh, LinkedIn page. Now let's replace this, say I don't wanna include my photo, but I want my logo for my company. I can um, select the image here on this template. I can right click and I'm gonna select change picture and I'm gonna select from a file. Now I'm gonna select my logo file that's on my computer and click insert. Now I've got my logo that shows up there instead of my image. And I like this, so I'm gonna use this as my email signature. So now what I wanna do is again, click the box here so that I can select all the elements of this email block signature. I'm gonna click Control C to copy. And I'm gonna come over here into my Microsoft Outlook Click on a new email and we'll open that up to the full page. And then all we have to do is come over here to the signature area. 
Now I already have one set up, but I want to create this new signature block. So I'm gonna come down here and click on signatures. Now this will open up um, a new area where I can come down here and click on new. And I can name this. So I'm gonna name this one my logo signature and click OK. And down here, I can put my cursor down here and hit Control V to paste that. So once I've got all of my social media, uh, personalized social media links hyperlinked in here and all of my address and telephone number and all my contact information up to date, I can simply paste that in here. And now I'm gonna click Save. And I'm gonna click OK. And now, once I type my email, and I want to insert my signature, I can click on the drop down and I can select the signature here. And it will insert my signature block for me. Now, let's say I want to include an image logo. So I want to add another signature that I want to use sometimes instead of my logo, maybe I want to use my photo signature. So I'm going to come back over to my templates here and I'm going to select um, this one here that includes an image file. And I'm going to control C to copy. I'm gonna come over to my blank document here. I'm gonna come down and paste that one here. So in this signature block, there is a circular image. I know that I have an image that's rectangular that I wanna use, but I wanna make it look circular and put it into a circle. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, let's select this image and we'll right click and say change picture from a file. And we're gonna scroll down and select the image that we wanna use and click insert. And it inserts as a rectangular image, so we wanna change this. We're, we have the image selected. We're gonna come up to picture format. We're gonna come over to crop, and then we're gonna say crop to shape, and we're gonna select the circular shape here. And it makes a little bit of an oval, and we want this to be more circular, but keeping with the same aspect ratio. So we're gonna come back over to crop, and we're gonna select aspect ratio. We're gonna say one to one, and then we can move this a little bit so that we can select what goes into that circle and then we can click outside and it makes it as a circle. So now we have our square image that is in the circular shape. And then all we have to do from there is update the information and then we can copy and paste just like we did before to create the other one. We can select it once we've customized everything. We can come over here into Outlook and select a new email. We'll expand this and we're gonna come to our signature area. We're gonna click on signatures. We're gonna create a new one. This one we'll call our image signature. and click OK, and then we'll paste that here, and click OK. Now we can insert that signature. We can select the image signature, and that will be our signature that we can use with our image. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.